Good dimple dye sets aren't very cheap, but does that mean that cheap dimple dye sets aren't very good? In this video, I'm going to test out a set of dimple dyes that cost me less than $50. A dimple die is commonly used in metal fabrication. To reduce the weight in a panel, you can cut out or drill a hole, but in doing so, you sacrifice rigidity. To get back and even increase the rigidity is where dimple dies come in. The flared edge around the hole can allow you to use a thinner gauge metal and stiffen up a floppy part because no one likes when their part is floppy. Dimple dies are used in those really cool looking panels that connect the roll cage to the A pillar of a race car. But another use of a dimple die is to add traction to something like this badass custom made brake pedal. You can also add them to an inclined surface such as a ramp because with the flared edge facing up you can greatly increase the grip on a normally slick surface. If a dimple faces down, I guess when it faces up you'd call it a pimple die. This set includes a half inch, a three quarter, and an inch set of dies and is available on Amazon at the time of this recording for the low price of $48. First impression, they look good. They look a lot better than what I could have put on on my manual lathe. Now I don't know a whole lot about CNC machining, but I feel like the hazing in the middle could have been fixed by using constant surface speed. In short, Constant surface speed adjusts the RPM of the spindle so that the ideal surface feet per minute, or meters per minute depending on if you've been to the moon or not, is achieved regardless of diameter. The spindle speed will increase as the diameter gets smaller, where in this case you'd be hitting the max spindle speed of 6000 RPM at the center of the part. The measurements all look good with the guide post being a few thou under nominal size for each die. I prepped a few pieces of steel ranging from 16 gauge to 8 inch thick and some aluminum around the same sizes and set up to punch holes in it with this low cost cozy step drill that I also got from Amazon. I'm not usually a big fan of step drills and this one worked okay on steel but it definitely had a better time with aluminum. I also tried a 3 quarter inch drill to do a comparison. The holes made with the step drill were consistently on size but unfortunately the ones made with the twist drill were undersized and needed to be opened up the rest of the way with the step drill. Starting out with the aluminum, the 16 gauge aluminum pressed very nicely with minimal distortion. The 12 gauge aluminum had no trouble pressing, but definitely had more distortion when forming with the 1 inch die. The 8th inch aluminum easily formed a 3 quarter inch dimple, but the part definitely ended up getting bent in the process. The 16 gauge steel pressed the best so far with very minimal distortion to the part when pressed twice with the half inch die. The 16 gauge steel again pressed very nicely even when doing two holes with the 1 inch die and only left minimal distortion to the part. The 14 gauge steel pressed nicely but definitely had more distortion to the part than the 16 gauge steel did. The 8 inch steel pressed pretty easily but definitely ended up with the most distortion to the part. To counteract the bend I pressed the die on the bottom side of the part to help bend the steel back into shape. This method didn't work so well with the aluminum as the part was just springing back into place. It's not perfect, but it's definitely better than it was. After I pressed all of the test parts, the dies showed very minimal damage, if any. The flare quality is totally acceptable, with the 16 gauge steel having the best results as far as part deformation goes. All in all, I definitely recommend these dimple dies for most of the fabrication projects that I'll personally encounter. If I need any larger sizes for specific parts, I could always purchase them individually, but this set will definitely get me started. If you stayed this long and enjoyed this video, then maybe you'd also enjoy this video right here.